Oh, hello there. <laughs> Shall I read you a story? <clears throat> Here goes. Open your heart and open your butt. Because soon, you'll be able to open your iPhone. <laughs> What? Only 25% of you have notifications turned on. What's wrong with you? Turn those bad boys on or else you're not part of the toilet squad. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech. FPT? The show that gives you all latest tech news from one geek that is me to another that is you. Just a heads up, there's a thunderstorm happening like as I'm... Oh, you hear that? <laughs> There's a thunderstorm happening as I'm filming the show, and the studio is upstairs, like the, uh, the closest to nature that I could be without being all the way inside it. So if the power goes out, like this, <laughs> we'll just do the show like this. I got batteries, it's fine. FPT dark mode, you know what I mean? All right, <laughs> let's talk about tech news. All right, so first up for the day, story numero uno. Oh, 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 baby. The sweet, sweet smell of vindication. I have been saying since last year that AirTags have technically been done and ready. Like, ready to ship. I said that seven months ago when I gave you the final design for AirTags. I mean, I tried to tell you, yet everyone made fun of me. Like, oh, there's John Prosser again saying that air tags are coming. Uh-huh. He's clearly just guessing and even a broken clock is twice, is right twice a day. What's the saying? Is that it? I think nailed it. Okay. Just like he said, the Apple TV has been ready to ship for like 10 months now, followed by sarcastic comment because John Prosser is just making stuff up. Twitter leaks these days, I tell you what. I mean, what am I supposed to say to all that stuff? How am I supposed to respond? When I say that things are technically ready to ship and literally just sitting around in boxes ready to go, there's no way for me to prove that so i just let people make fun of me because unless you work at apple you see the boxes sitting around there's no way to know if i'm just making it all up or not until now and now we have proof that prosser was correct and apple has been sitting on air tags for some time waiting for the right moment to launch thanks tom's guy turns out a lot of the packaging for air tags does actually provide proof to the claims that I've been making for the last year. Spotted first, at least from what I saw, by Daniel from Zone of Tech, as well as some others, some of the packaging for AirTags lists a copyright as far back as last year, 2020, and some of the accessories even show a copyright of 2019. Like 2020 and 2019 are on the boxes, meaning they were printed then and have just been sitting around since then. So for once, in a very rare instance, we have actual proof that John Prosser is not full of sh how fun! Again, the same is true for the Apple TV. I think I said nearly a full year ago at this point that Apple TV had been technically finished and sitting around, and I'm sure when people start to get their Apple TVs, you'll see similar proof on those boxes as well. So, there you go, Twitter and Reddit, in the most polite, dignified way possible. Eat my ass. All right, listen, this is a tech show. You're watching a tech show. You don't need me to tell you what a VPN is or why you need one. What I can tell you is that my boys over at WeVPN are all VPN veterans who were just tired of all the sketchy practices of other VPNs that they worked for, so they joined forces and created one of the fastest and most secure VPNs out there. You get access to all premium features, a choice of over 50 server locations, and yes, you can use WeVPN to unblock most streaming services like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, and tons more. They're already offering 73% off 73 percent that's a lot and you because you're a front page tech viewer can subtract an additional 10 percent off just by using the promo code fpt at checkout my challenge to you is that even if you're already using a vpn right now if you like this show if you trust me click the link down in the description right now to give we vpn a try all right so first welcome back uh next up speaking of air tags we we might have a slight problem here. You know how Apple said that they have implemented privacy features to ensure that someone cannot use their AirTag to track you, a person? Like, to help prevent AirTags from being abused by stalkers, if your iPhone notices that someone else's AirTag has been following your device, it will give you a notification being like, yo, hey, 
uh, you in trouble or you know something like that which is great right you get that notification and it gives you the ability to disable that air tag to prevent whoever placed it there whoever is tracking you it will prevent them from getting any further information like that air tag is not going to send them any further information that's great right but like what if no work i've been seeing a few people mention this because obviously people are going to test this right and this video from travis mcp greatly demonstrates how he used his air tag to track one of his friends without them knowing like he did the whole thing he put the air tag under his friend's truck the night before and then basically followed him the next day to a store that the guy had stopped at this friend was not notified in any way he had no idea he was being tracked and because naturally people will try to defend this like I can, i'm pretty sure i can hear you right now typing away yes the friend uses an iphone and yes the iphone was on the latest version of ios still zero notification so clearly the safety feature did not work as intended in this case and that's for a person that had an iphone the people that don't have an iPhone at all that use an Android device instead, well, they're basically fisted automatically. Like there's there's no way around it. You're just not going to know you're going to be tracked. I'm going to leave a link to this full video down in the description below if you want to like take a look and watch the whole video yourself. And plus, I highly recommend that you subscribe to Travis MCP. He's personally one of my favorite tech YouTubers and he is dangerously close to his first 100,000 subscribers. And it'd be really cool if we, the Toilet Squad, could say that we got him there. And you know what? I think this isn't even necessarily an Apple issue. Apple releasing AirTags and having the scale of the Apple device network really exposes the dangers of these trackers. And unfortunately, this is just like, I mean, the best way to put it, this is just a side effect of the technology. And I don't think there's a better way to implement it and solve the problem for everyone across the board. But don't worry, I'm sure there'll be a ton of you in the comments with all sorts of answers because you are so smart and you can come up with the solutions from your bedroom at your mom's house better than a $2 trillion company. No, but for real, if you have any ideas or you think you have a better solution that they could implement that would work for everybody, go ahead, drop it down in the comments below. I'll make sure that Tim looks at it. I'll make sure that I, I I'll tell Tim Cook is that's what I'll do. And he will read your comments and fix it, I'm sure. Cause Tim wa Tim watches the show. Uh-huh. Yes, he does. Was that convincing? Okie dokie. So last up for the day, let's talk about Apple's upcoming foldable iPhone. You've heard me talk about Apple's two foldable prototypes. One is kind of like the Galaxy Z Fold, and the other one is more of a clamshell style device like the Z Flip. And despite the rumors saying that Apple could potentially launch their foldable as soon as September next year or this year, whenever they said, uh, I very much went against that rumor saying that the prototypes were nowhere near ready for a 2021 or 22, 2022 release. Words are hard. And now we have a brand new report from Kuo Ming Chi, who, by the way, I know we've for years on this show pronounced his name Ming Chi Kuo. And now that I'm pronouncing it Kuo Ming Chi, there's a lot of you laughing, making fun of me in the comments. But listen, there's a reason. There's a reason, and this is the reason. An actual Taiwanese viewer sent this video teaching me how to properly pronounce it. And now I'm I'm giving it to you. Let's learn together, class. Hey John, so my name is Weiwei and I've been following FPT since Ask FPT was still a thing. I think I can help with the pronunciation. So Guomingqi, you basically take GW as in like Gwen in Spider-Man. So you take Gwen, drop the E-N, add an O. So you go Guo, Guo. All right, and now we are all a little bit smarter. Now, speaking of that report, it's a it's a pretty significant one. About that first foldable iPhone, Kuo Ming Chi says that uh, the first one that we will see will be an 8-inch foldable coming sometime in 2023, not 2021 or 2022. Uh, if, if I had to guess, it would be late 2023. And he believes that this is going to be a huge deal when it launches, estimating that Apple will sell close to 15 to 20 million units that year. Now, real quick, because it is worth noting here, sometimes uh, Quo's timelines, like his estimations for the timelines of when products will be released, are a little off. 
Sometimes. Like, he has been known to be up to a year off sometimes in terms of when a product is coming. So, uh, I would not be surprised if some of this info changes. Like, yeah, we maybe might see it in 2023, but also I would not be shocked or surprised if 2023 becomes 2024. But you know, whatever, we'll see. And it's not like I'm super excited about the foldable iPhone. Who knows, maybe there's still a chance. Maybe by 2023, I mean, that's a, that's a long time from now. Maybe by then, uh, towards the end of production, they'll realize, oh, this was a really stupid idea. Never mind. <laughs> Oh,